am live and I will be playing MLB The Show 17. Ooh, I just farted. I'm gonna be the Royals and then I wanna play the White Sox. Then I like this jersey. And let's play the Indian Stadium. What's up, Cam? Now from downtown Cleveland, MLB Network brings you baseball from Progressive Field. Jason Vargas is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. Right, Harold, any thoughts? Matt, last year this guy was one of the best pitchers in baseball, but he already in the low twos. You know how good that is? And the thing I like about it, that tells me he's going to throw strikes when he needs to. He's going to get ahead of hitters. And he's going to have another solid game going deep in the game. So hopefully he can carry that into this game as well. And we'll get a chance to really see him work at his best. That's two strikes. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Hosmer is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matt, the guy to watch has to be Jose Abreu. This is the guy you want at the plate when the game is on the line. He thrives in these situations. It's almost like he goes to bed and says, I can't wait to play because the game is going to come down to me and I'm going to make something happen. He thrives on performing in the big moments. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball left side. Played on the backhand. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Well, that's playing within his game right there. The speedster gets a little infield single, and now he's on to do damage. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Well, Maddie, some people say Gary is more of a pitcher's umpire because he features a wider strike zone than some. But I think he's at least pretty consistent about it. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled straight back. On the ground up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores. But man, that ball is hit hard up the middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Into the box now. Number 30 dribbled up the line. But that one rolls foul. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit to short. Escobar fields it cleanly. And the decision to take a shot at third backfires as he's in there safely. Yeah, and we didn't waste any time getting things going here. Two outs and the base is loaded. And the next at back could set the tone for the entire rest of the game. If he can get out of this mess without any damage, he's going to know he can shut the door all game long. And with this home crowd on his side, they'll be going wild. But that's a big if. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. 
That's a nice pick. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and... Here now is the center fielder, Lorenzo Cain, to get us started in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Royals, the center fielder number six, Lorenzo Cain. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a look at the hometown Royals starting lineup card. What's going to be the key for him today, HR? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple. Oh. A swing and a drive sent out Go. toward the gap. Go. Center fielder going back. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Batting third. Coming to the plate now, Melky Cabrera. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now a swing and a fly ball. Cabrera on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Royals. And I'm looking at Alcides Escobar. I love how this guy plays shortstop. You know, at one time, the Brewers, when they had him in their organization, tried to put him in the outfield? Come on. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and one. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. One and two, here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. No score here as we play inning number two. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Gordon comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Batting ninth. Center fielder, number 41. Stepping up now, number 41. He stands in for the first time in this one. This is on the ground over to first. On with it, the first is Hosmer, and that ends the inning. So now... The first baseman, Eric Hosmer, is in. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. First baseman, Eric a swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance, and he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first half. All right, Matt, time for majestic defensive alignment for the White right Sox. And I'm looking down at first base at the big Cuban, Jose Abreu. You talk about a fuss over a private workout. He had everybody in baseball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Batting six. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And standing in, the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakas. He's set. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. Mokata has it. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Batting seven. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Moss. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Hit hard on the ground at first. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. And he'll be tagged out at third base on a heady play. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Previously against Carlos Radon, four for 14. He's taken him deep once. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes this the other way to right. Garcia is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is... Back from progressive field as we're set for the beginning of the third inning here on MLB Network. Third baseman, number five, Carlos... Sanchez. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon is there. He's got it one away. 
Now batting. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Moncada. There's a two-seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. The windup and the 0-1. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Abreu. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Going after it is Gordon. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order, go the. I'm just going to end it right here. See ya.